Hello folks, Kerker's Boy here. Now, everybody that knows me knows that I am a huge Transformers fan. It's one of the few things that I actively collect. Now, today I picked up an add-on kit for one of my figures. Classic Optimus Prime. Now, this figure was given to me by uh, an old friend many, many years ago. Now, I've just um, kept it up on the shelf, but now I have picked up a new add-on kit that I'm going to show you um, connecting it to this figure. Okay, so let's put the figure aside. And open up the box. Now, this was ordered direct from TF Source, and they have quite a few good things. One of the few things I decided to pick up as a nice little treat for myself, and to show all of you. Okay, packaging, get out of here. Ah, here we go. Getting it out of the bubble wrap. Yes. The TFX 06 Parallax Armor for Classics Optimus Prime. Here's the box. Here's the other side. And we've got some nice drawings on the sides and the equipment. Now, well, let's open her up. Okay, we've got our trusty scissors out. Let's slice that tape. Pop it open. Okay, here we go. Let's dig on in. Unfold everything. And here's what we've got inside. Now, all of this is going to go onto this. So let's get the gun off. We won't need this for now. Figure your side again. Lift this up. Separate the clamshells. Oh. Got those nice little bubbles that keep it connected properly. Oh, we've got tape. Okay, that's what we've got our scissors for. Okay, slice, slice. And on the other side, slice and slice. Now, lifting up clamshells. Oh, okay. Here we go. Off you pop. Okay, let's take everything out. Okay, now I've got a nice little paper here. Let's see if you can see it. Yes, this will have our instructions. Okay, let me just clear this stuff aside and be right back. Now, before we continue on, here's one last look at the figure standard as it is now, before we add the armor. Now, let's transform them as well. And we will compare his appearance like this to his appearance with the armor set. Okay. I had this thing for so long, actually. Oh, yeah. Okay. First, we've got to twist the top for eight times. Twist the top. Pop down the head. Wait. Yeah. Go down the head. Wait. <laughs> Eyes. Here we go. Go down the head. Other wing goes up top. Arms back. And we fold. Fist in. Arms back. Fold in. Fist up. Now, arms forward. Fold in. Cover the grill. Arms 
comes down. Hold in. Cover roll. Legs back. Twist over. Legs back. Down. Down. Feet together. Twist. And pull forward. Like that. We have our yoga mode. As I tend this part in. Okay. Let me just pull this out a bit more. Lift up. Ah, fold it in. And there we go. Everything is nice and tight. And we've got our Optimus Prime vehicle mode. Now, time to transform. Okay, now this is going to actually take a little bit of work. And step one is we'll be removing these two shoulder screws so that we can put in our new shoulder pieces. So, as always, make sure you have a screwdriver nearby. Pull them out and make certain that you don't lose them because it'll be very annoying having to retrieve them later on or, heaven forbid, find new ones. So, here we go. And here we go. And just a bit further, and it's out. See? Here and here. I like to put screws on the instructions so you know exactly where they are. Now I'm going to be doing the left shoulder first. And I have to be careful because these are... Uh, I will say the plastic feels a bit thin, but see how it points out. This is going to be sliding right into this place with this peg going into the hole you just took the screw out of. So just slot it right over carefully. And pop it in. Just push in delicately. Oof. A little scary. A little scary. Oh, okay. This is easy. Much easier. Since it rotates out, you can pop it on a bit more safely. Just line it up. Mm. Push, push. Now it's in. Rotate over. Covers the shoulder. Do the same with the other side. Rotate out. Pop in. Press and rotate over. Now we have our new shoulders. Take the screws that we've set aside and pop them back in. Never too tight, never too tight. Because you always want to be able to take them out if needed. You also never want to damage the plastic, so as soon as you can feel a little bit of that tug, always stop. Part one is complete. Next step is this, which is going to be containing the new head and affecting the shoulders as well. So pull a little bit out and a little bit down. Pull a little bit out, a little bit down, and these pieces should just separate like that. Now all this should snap into place. Let's bring the head up first. Ooh. Yeah, okay, all this rotates back. And up, and turns around. Here's our nice new head sculpt. Let's 
and things should peg in nicely around here. Next up, we're adding our new smokestack cannons. Now, you want the points facing away from the figure, because they are going to the back. So, and back we go. This time, I'm going to force a little bit further, just a bit more strength than I usually like to apply to these things, but it should go in. And come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Well, I can rotate this to the back. Give us a little bit of extra clearance. Then once I've got it in place, I can figure out what to do. So, press it down, slide it in, and okay, that snapped into place. And looks like that's all it really needed. Once it's in place, it's held, and these are back far enough that it's not really affecting everything. Though I do wish this was a little further out because we've got an angle here that I don't quite like. But let's get on to the next one. Slide down, flip over, snap in place. Rotate it all the way back, so you don't have to worry about the clearance as much. And it slots in. Nice and smooth. Now, we can have both of these just straight up into the back. I don't quite like it, but it's better than it being forward like this. So, for now, we will have them straight up to the back. Figure is looking a little bit top-heavy, but don't worry. We've got plenty of things to deal with balancing out the bottom. Next step is adding on the new grill. Okay, so we're taking our new grill. For the back piece here, we're gonna be flipping it up, locking into place, and this should snap in right between the wheels here. Come on, just snapping in right between oh almost had it and yeah there's that click pops up got a new back piece perfect okay now the new back piece is in we will take the new arm guards here and these should be pretty easy to get a hold of I'm assuming that these will just snap onto the older ones. Because I'm seeing these connected pieces. And one side here. Oh, almost had it, I think. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Hmm. Have to be very careful. Oh, actually, this is sliding in very nicely into this. And yep, snaps right on. Even fills in seams. You can get a nice look at that. Right into the slot, right into the seam. Same with the other side. Okay, that one was much easier. Fills everything in nicely. Everything's nice and much bulkier. Now, before we go into big hands mode, we're going to have to remove our old hands. So, these two screws will come out and we will pull that off. So, here we go. Once again, always keep your screwdriver handy. A couple of twists. Drop the screws onto your instructions. Having a screwdriver handy is also good for general maintenance in case you want to tighten up any joints. 
Now this should just pop right off. Then you remove your hands. It's a bit tight, but with some wiggle pops right off. Okay, hands are off. Now we just reassemble the piece right here. And as always, screws are kept nearby so they can go right back on. One in here. Keep them straight. Don't want to stress the plastic too much. Especially with some of the older figures. Okay. Snug, but not tight. Keep the screw straight. Snug, but not tight. Perfect. Just one more. Yeah. Everything is locked into place right. Now we are missing our left hand, so let's take good old lefty, which is right here. We've got some nice joints, nice thumb articulation. Unfortunately, it only swings in and out and not a full range of motion, but it's better than what we already had. Slots over. Let's see here. Does this clamp in place over? No, no, that doesn't feel right. Hmm. Okay, this goes over here. Ah, okay, I felt something bite. Hmm. That does not feel quite right. It feels too loose a grip, like it will come right off. Okay, let me check that one. Okay, after some looking around, there is a small peg here, which I personally think could be a bit bigger, but pops right into this hole. So let's move these out of the way. Slide them up, line it up, and yeah, just what I was thinking, this should be a bit tighter. Might add something to it later on to make the fit a bit more snug, but right now it works. And I don't expect too much stress to make it pop out. So. Got a big arm and a little one. See? Open closing fist. Peg hole. So let's get this one off and make it the same. Screwdriver out. Loosen things up. Loosen things up. Okay, had to dig a little bit to get to that one. Okay, out we come. Drop one of the instructions. Good, good, good. Here goes another one. Out we come. Pop the cover off. Pop the fist off. A 
the place to cover. Oops, upside down. Replace the screws. Once you know what you're doing, it goes by a lot quicker. Tight, snug, but not tight. If it's tight, you'll always want to pull back a little bit. Okay, yeah. The ratchet screws always will go in a little bit deeper. Yeah, okay. I can see what this is supposed to be. You see, this peg is complete. The other one was missing a small chunk. But I can take a little bit of floor polish to fill that out later on. Rotate around, slot it right into the hole. Come on, let's get you up there. Ah, okay, yeah, this one is nice and tight. This is what it's supposed to be like. And flips down. Now this one still is far too loose but it'll last for just a demonstration of what this is supposed to be like. Now I've got some nice open and closing hands, so I've got the full range of motion, in and out, up and down, because it's still using the joints of the original figure. Okay, yeah, I really do like this new head sculpt. Next step, I believe, is for the legs. Okay, so once again, looks like I am going to have to force this in. Oh, actually, yeah, that was pretty easy. Sometimes I get a little too nervous with these things and try and treat them with kids' gloves when I don't need to. So, snap this onto the other side. Legs down. Just pop it in there. Come on. Oh, puts that down all the way. That would help. Right. Ah. Nope, you are not in all the way. What is keeping you out? Okay, that's what's there. Keep the leg flush against. Okay, that's the snap. You all heard it. Let's get both feet down. Let's get the balancing points out here. Because this thing is top heavy. Nice, nice, nice. Now, these two wheels here will go on top of these to pull these out a bit further so that they match up with the bumper properly now. And just pop them in, and there we go. Good to go. Last piece we have is this. The weather vane, which is actually a series of guns. Now I will show you how to connect this next. Okay, weather vanes split apart, it will be replacing this one. We put away our tools, we put away our fists. Always remember when replacing them, and now we start opening this up. Fold out, fold out, fold out. We've got barrels, we've got 
uh, grips. Fold these together, flip this up, flip this over, and we've got one for the right hand. Barrels out, grips out, fold over, fold over, and out. And we've got one for the left side. So, put them in there. Now these actually will slot right into these fist holsters, so you don't even need the fingers to grip onto it. So slot it down in, make certain we have it nice and in place, and you close the fists around it. Fists are just for show, but it does look nicer. Okay, let's rotate this up a little bit. Pulls up a little bit higher. So it's above the thumb and not blocking it. Okay. There we go. And see, this is the problem with this one not clamping in properly because this piece was not properly assembled. But for now, we will hold it in place like this. And that is our completed figure. Retains all of the original's posability with actually a bit of extra because we have movable feet so you can get different poses. Toes go up. Left, right, we've got a head tilt. You can look up and down, not too much, but enough. Slightly ball jointed. If I say one thing, I think the head should be a slight bit larger. But for right now, it's working for me. Now this is a very super robot-ish style figure. If I should say so myself. But I do enjoy it. Yes, I do enjoy it. Let's get that foot back down. Now I'm going to show it transformed and show you that you don't actually need to remove anything that we've assembled to this. It completely changes the way the entire figure works. So transformation's next. Okay. And here we go. New Optimus Prime, much bigger than the old one. Now to never have it in this mode again.